A massive wall now faced any surviving attackers that must be scaled to finally reach the epicenter of the fortress, the citadel. And it's here that Vauban had his main gun battery. Even if we got here, we'd still have that to conquer. It's almost like a 17th century Death Star. It's here in the landscape, it's not going anywhere, and getting inside it is virtually an impossible task. And in the unlikely event that the attackers reached the citadel, Vauban had put his mind to the hand-to-hand -hand combat that would follow. Oh, my. Very impressive. Flintlock muskets were the standard firearm of the day. But they took a long time to load, making them useless when fighting at close quarters. And musketeers had to be protected by a phalanx of pikemen. So in 1688, Vauban introduced the socket bayonet to the French army. If you've ever changed a light bulb, you might have heard the term bayonet fitting. And that goes back to these things. It slots over the end, locks into place on a lug. By offsetting the bayonet, this ingenious design meant that the gun could be loaded even with the bayonet fixed. And what you now have is your musket turned into a pike, but it's also a pike that's operating as a musket. That's a huge step up from having one or the other. Here you've got the best of both worlds. Vauban's innovation revolutionized battlefield tactics and finally consigned the pike, an essential weapon for centuries, to history.